Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Um, I just realized something just just a few minutes ago. Uh, I did something a little bit different. I won't tell you what it is because um, I don't want to get my hopes up. Um, so I realized that I'm not as confident as I thought I was. Um, I like to think I'm pretty confident, especially after the last few years. But just until a while ago, I realized that maybe I'm not as confident as I thought I was. Maybe there's something still missing. I don't know what it is. Um, I think I feel like I've got everything that I want in life. I have a wife. I have a home. I have a car. Um, I have all this stuff. Stuff I don't need. I have a good job. I have a nice family. Yeah, I've lost a lot. But for some odd reason, I thought I was way more confident than I actually am. And I don't know why I feel that way, but for some odd reason, it just gave me a reality check that maybe maybe there's something else that needs to happen. Um, I, I look at the, the mantra that good things happen to good people. Um, I like to think I'm a good person. Um, I've made mistakes in my life that... You know, that was pretty bad. But I'm willing to admit those mistakes. Um, I'm willing to learn from those mistakes. Uh, I'm a strong believer in karma. Um, these last couple of years have been nothing but great. Everything that I've wanted to happen has happened. Like I said, I have a wife now. Um, I have a home now. I'm not sleeping... Uh, on the floor or uh, a used bed or in my car or uh, somebody's couch. Um, I have a job. Um, I'm building my credit. Uh, I have groceries. Um, and, you know, I've got new friends and everything, especially at work. But just a while ago, and like I said, I can't really tell you what it is, but it was a conference. Um, where I'd have to talk about myself. Um, one of the crazy questions you hear a lot from if you ever had like an interview or anything like that, they always say, describe yourself. Uh, tell us what makes you happy. Tell us this and that. Sometimes we just give generic answers. Sometimes we're like, yeah, we're great, feeling good. Life is awesome. But then you think about it. You think about it, and it makes you think like, do you really deserve to be where you are right now? I think there's a name for this. I think it's called imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome meaning you're in this part of your life, but you don't know you deserve this. You feel like the things you've done has... You shouldn't have what you have. I feel like that all the time. And it sucks. But I think I deserve what I have. Especially Mrs. Bits. Like, some people probably think that I'm a loser, but I don't think I am. I think I'm good, and I think she's amazing. And I, I don't know what would happen if I lost her. It'd fucking kill me. But I feel sometimes like I don't deserve her. I hope that makes sense. Like, I, I just, I mean, I just thought about it whenever I was doing this little interview thing. Uh, and they ask you to grade your current life. And I never really thought about it. But there's like this amalgamation of words I can't say. Um, of stuff that just came to my mind that it's like, well, a few years ago I was completely down on my luck and she came in my life when I was down on my luck. I didn't have a job. She was paying my bills. She didn't have to. But she did. Kind of let everybody just take and take and take and take from me. 
then I had that one person that comes in my life. It's like, I'm not going to take from you. I'm going to give you what you never really had. And to be honest, to be 100% honest, um, my life is way, way better with her. More than I could even imagine. I don't know why it came to my head. Like, it just came out. I was doing this little interview where I was talking about um, tell, tell them about yourself. And I've never really thought about it. Like, and it just kind of hit. I'm like, well, I'm 36 years old and I have all of this. Um, just a few years ago, I had nothing. And now I have something. Like, I wanted to die, like, a couple years ago. I just wanted to die. I didn't care. Like, I didn't really care. And now I've got everything in the world to live for. So, try not to cry. I know I drive her crazy sometimes. Sometimes I just don't know how to handle myself, like how to handle happiness. I don't I don't know how to handle it still today. Like I just don't I don't know how to and sometimes I come off kind of annoying. I get afraid I I'm afraid to do the wrong thing, so I'm always worried because like just past traumas like just getting yelled at and screamed at and arguing and all this stuff it just like hurts and though our marriage uh, our relationship i mean i like to think it's perfect they say there's no such thing as a perfect relationship but i couldn't imagine the relationship any better than what i have now i couldn't imagine it Most people by this time are like, let's get divorced, uh, fuck off, and just don't be in my life. I've got friends that's been divorced and everything, and I, I never want to get a divorce. I, 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 the, it's, it's terrible to go through that. And I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent and going the wrong way with this, where it's like, what's this have to do with your life? But it has everything to do with my life. I just want to do better and better and better. And I look at myself now, I'm like, I'm doing good. But another part of me is like, I can do better than this. I can do way better. And I can make life a whole lot better for Mrs. Bits. And that's what I want to do more than anything. I don't know, sorry if it's cheesy, I just... I just never really thought about the question before. And this kind of makes me think, like, you know, a few years ago when my best friend killed himself. Why didn't somebody ask him this question? Why... Didn't anybody ask him this? Because that's one of the, like, it sounds like a stupid question, but it's probably one of the most important questions somebody can ask you. Just think about it. Just think about it. Where you are in your life right now. Ask yourself that question. Think about all the things you have. And think about that one constant. And like I said, the one constant I have with me is somebody that decided to give me a chance on Facebook. I didn't even have to send a dick pic. That sounds good. All right, guys. Uh, sorry for the cheesiness. I just had a moment. <laughs>